Hello Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for April 5th through the 12th for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I want to start off by thanking all of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, and commented on my videos. I really appreciate staying connected with all of you and co-creating with you. It's been a ton of fun for me. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted, which is about once a week. So um, I hope all of you had a great birthday season here. And here we go into the next season of our journey. Um, speaking of that, I mentioned I post videos weekly. I'll be back with a mid-month tarot check next week, but I'm also going to do a seasonal check for the months of May, June, July, and August, and that'll be coming up before May. So here we go for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, April 5th through the 12th. Pisces. Now, you guys, we go day by day here, okay? A card for each day of the week. We start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Boy, are you a bit closed off, Pisces? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, I like the ending to this. And on the bottom of the deck, you have you have Justice and the Hierophant. So very interesting reading for you. A very powerful reading with, um, you know, you have five major arcana here. You have water, you have air, you have earth, and you have Taurus, Libra, Gemini, um, and you do have fire. So really interesting reading. I feel like on Sunday, you just want to get away from it all. It's like you, you want to, if you're quarantined with people, you want to get away from them. But I, it's a feeling of like, I just want to get away from this for a minute. A feeling of restless, irritable discontent really washes over me when I look at this card for you. It's like I, I just want to go within for a little bit, kind of check out, maybe take a walk somewhere, hike somewhere by yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, you know, the best investment you can ever make is in yourself, and this is a great opportunity to do that. Um, if you are utilizing meditation, that's a great place to begin. And if you're not, and you've struggled with it, I did see Oprah and Deepak Chopra are offering a 21 day meditation free. So you could sign up for that. There's also opportunities like Gaia TV offers free 30 day subscriptions. So if you're getting tired of, you know, watching Tiger King on Netflix, or you're done with that, go turn on some Gaia TV and, and invest in your spirituality. Um, but I, again, I feel like um, you're trying to just get your groove back. You're trying to find your passion, and um, by you know by by seeking something greater, you'll have you'll transcend by doing that. So um, you might be even thinking about walking away from some things, like getting a perspective change, change in perspective. Um, you don't have the yeah, you do have the hanged man here, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, but you're just kind of guarded. So Monday, you're guarded about money. Some of you who are in sales may be on a hiatus right now, which if you're on straight commission, you know, is a bit scary, right? You're thinking, okay, I need to really watch what I'm doing, cancel my gym membership, or at least put a hold on that and start really getting serious about organizing some bills and things. The money will come in, but I know for right now, some people are having to um, really par back on some things that they normally wouldn't think twice about. And that may be you. I think you're also kind of guarded over your heart. It's like just the idea of trying to get into a relationship right now may not be your priority for you. But I do think that there's love here for some of you. I do think some of you that have been on some kind of a break are thinking a lot about that person and thinking about the life that you used to have. I think for those of you that walked away from something, you're kind of ruminating in it, and it's just hard. Um, there's a there's a, a so kind of a sorrowful energy in parts of this. Um, you know, Tuesday we've got the lovers, and this is nice because there's balance. There's also balance with justice coming up later. You're getting more balance, so it's not quite as doom and gloom, and there's a lot of... Um, nostalgia coming through like just sort of that wistful remembering of things that 
you had and let go of. You let go of to seek out new. And for some of you, what you found was not what you thought it was going to be. You know, you were looking for passion and you didn't find it, not in the way that you thought that you could. I do think you have a soulmate connection here. I definitely feel love in this reading. There's somebody that you're missing, and I think they're missing you too. Um, but you have to change your perspective on things. And part of that is learning how to really properly own things, you know, making an amends. And it may be them too, where they need to say, look, I was conscious of what I did. I consciously chose something that I knew would hurt you. I did it knowing that it would hurt you. And, you know, I don't know that I can make that up. Um, but I want you to know that I, I did know what I was doing. Because I think there's been a lot of blaming and shifting and I had no other choice kinds of conversations. And that's that wasn't true. And I think the lack of authentic, authenticity in that has been a real barrier. Um, but, you know, if you change how you look at things, the things around you will change. Um, so here's Thursday and your things get clearer. They get much clearer. I think that there is communication very rapidly about how things are going to be. I think it's work related, but I also think it has to do with this relationship for some of you. And for some others, if there's somebody out there that started something kind of like online and then it didn't ever get off the ground because we've been quarantined, um, I do think for some of you, this person's going to send you a message or communicate with you that they haven't forgotten about you. They just got focused on readjusting and shifting their entire lives around. So it didn't have much to do with you. It really had to do with the circumstances. Um, but again, I think that Thursday will bring a lot of clarity for you and that will help, but it's going to be an adjustment. Okay. Some of you might be a little bit under the weather too. I'm getting allergies for some of you, um, as the seasons shift and change. And then that brings a whole nother layer of a cake because we get allergies and everybody freaks out and thinks is it COVID-19 and it's not they're just seasonal aller allergies so I do think you might be a little bit down um, and feel just a little bit sleepy wanting to rest recover now this is a 10 too so it's also a change in a cycle I do think those of you that have been kind of down in your cups in your woes are going to be coming out of that because you go right from the Ten of Swords into the Fool. I mean, these are like two opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, so that was for, if I said Thursday, that was for Friday for the Ten of Swords. By Saturday here, though, you're into the Fool, and it's like a fresh, new, clean energy, a brand new, clean slate. The way you begin the, the week is almost completely opposite of the way that you end it. Um, you have great stability coming in, and you also have this invigorated energy. It's like a renewal has taken place. A renewal is coming towards you, Pisces. And I feel like you want to move forward. And I actually do think you're going to move forward on all fronts. You know, some of you may be getting some stimulus money too that the government has approved. And that will be coming within the next week for those of you that have had direct deposit um, for the past couple of years on your taxes, that money will show up in your bank account and it'll be, it'll be some relief, but honestly, you don't, I don't think you really need it as much financially as mentally. So that looks really good. Um, again, we're picking up steam. We go from some very stagnant energy into a very quick moving energy. Now, the only thing you have to be careful with is just some balance with the energy because it's like kind of bipolar feeling where all of a sudden you're almost manic because things have changed so drastically and you just have to be careful to be even with it, to kind of level out, level up, be even. Um, you know, here we go though, too, just as clarifiers, you have the Hierophant and Justice. So I do think for some of you, um, I think you're moving towards a long-term commitment. I do think for some of you, if you have an ex and it was somebody you were married to and you haven't been on the greatest of terms, I think you could be, and I know some people are not going to like this, I think you might end up getting back together with them. And I forget what the percentage is of divorced couples that get together again, but of second marriages, it's like pretty high. I want to say it's like 30% or 40%. It's, it's surprisingly high. Um, so I think if that's you and you go, oh my God, that's me, it's you. And I think it is going to come back around. It's just 
you know, I mean, we're in very uncharted territory right now. So I'm getting that for somebody here. Um, and if that's what you want, you know, you just have to set your intentions, focus on the good things about that person, and that's the version of them that will show up. So when I reverse the thought, I reverse the condition. There is no condition so severe that you cannot reverse it by choosing different thoughts. However, choosing different thoughts requires focus and practice. If you continue to focus as you have been, to think as you have been, and to believe as you have been, then nothing in your experience will change. So occasionally I'll get people that will write me comments about, I don't see how this could possibly happen. And my answer to that is always the same, then it won't. If you can't see that, it will never happen because you are manifesting it. So until you believe that anything can happen, thoughts become things. Like I said, I mean, there's a high percentage, especially of second marriages that end in divorce that end up reconciling. This stuff happens all the time. So here's what you can do when you are, you know, whether it's watching TV or even somebody has a, you know, stops by and has a conversation and they mention, Oh yeah, did you hear, you know, Tina and Jim got back together. Really? Wow, that's shocking. Yeah, I know. I thought so too because they went through an entire divorce. That's the universe saying, here's an example of this. So look around. Look around you and the universe could be giving you nudges telling you, look, this is possible. You just have to align with it. So I love you so much, Pisces, and I hope you stay well and I will see you next week for your mid-month check.